So this is a pretty close to final version of Forza 3. We've been working for two years on it. Um, I'm here with senior designer Bill Giese. Bill's going to show you some of the more um, user-generated content features side of the game. Um, I'm going to walk you through just some of the initial portion of what you're seeing here. This is um, what we call our home space mode. So right now, I'm about 31 levels into the career uh, of single player. So what that translates to is about 10 hours of gameplay, maybe 12 hours so far. Um, I'm pretty far. Maybe I'm about a third of the way into the game. And um, you know, this is one of the cars I've gotten. Right? This is my 911 GT3. Uh, I really like this car, you know, and so we put it into this home space mode to allow you to just look at the car, to admire the car. This is our uh, kind of a screensaver. And so for me, I, I just leave it on all the time at work. I just, I just kind of stare at the details. And every time you get a car, we got 400 cars in the game. We have so much detail in all these cars. Every time I get a new car, I just end up staring at it because there's all these things I didn't know about this car, right? There's some cars I've never seen in real life before. And I'm sitting here staring at the cockpit, all the little knobs and the radio buttons and looking at all the details in the, in the tires and the wheels. So to me, this is like one of my favorite modes of the game and it's not even playing the game, right? You don't even have to be a racer to enjoy this. If you just have car passion, you can just sit here and st stare at the car. Um, so if you take a look at my garage, um, these are the cars I've gotten so far in my single player mode. Um, every time you level up, we'll gift you a car that's appropriate to your level. I think the uh, latest car I've gotten so far is the Bugatti, which I got at level 30. Actually, this is the latest car I've gotten. It's also a nice car, which we've just announced last week. Actually, this week. This week, yeah. I put some rims on it. Um, people may not agree with upgrading a Bugatti. It's kind of tasteless, but you know, that's just how I roll. It's just, uh... So why don't we get into this car and uh, just do, uh, do a test? like a test lab. I wonder what I can race. Yeah, I want to get into a race. Yeah. I wonder if this will work. Okay, let me just finish this up and we can do it. So, um, in career mode, we have a, a, a calendar system this time. It's called Season Play. And in Season Play, um, it's kind of a guided path through the career system, through our event system. And so at any, at any time in your career, you can basically do uh, one of three suggestions. You can, you can go to a new race in the current car you're in, which means you can take one car through like 50 hours of gameplay if you wanted to. You could uh, we'll also suggest you, know, you to drive a new car, which will put you into a new event, or we can suggest that you see a new track. So at any time in the career, you'll have three choices to go on this path. What I've done here is I've actually gone to the events grid. So, We've not taken that sandbox away from you. You can actually go and choose any event you want in any car you want. So as you know, uh, this is a pretty fast car, so now they're pitting me up against actual race cars. I'll probably out-drag them too. <laughs> a thousand horsepower, I don't know. Bye bye. Yeah. So this is our cockpit view. Uh, all working gauges. Um, you can you can you can look around. Working rear view mirrors, obviously. It's too bad you can't get some of the audio. This car sounds pretty fierce. We also have a uh, replay function, which I'll show you in a second. Which is a really nice mode for me because um, I really like capturing like perfect replays and saving them to my hard drive. And so I don't like to crash. I don't like to damage my car, especially because I'm a, I really like to use photo mode. So let's say if I if I crash into the wall here, right, and uh, my car's not looking too good, 
you can always go and hit rewind. Those are unlimited. Those are unlimited. You can go back further if you wanted to. All right, you can go back even further. And then you say, I want to start here. You go boom. And here you are. Uh, oh. So I didn't like that. I can rewind some more. Basically, you can like use this to either perfect the perfect crash or the perfect corner, right? You can just keep crashing over and over if you like to crash, or you want to keep practicing corners over and over. How, uh, how poorly do you have to drive to actually roll the car? Well, um, high performance cars in general are hard to roll. Uh, in real life, race cars don't roll very easily. Um, you can roll cars, but you have to try pretty hard, and you have to be in the right circumstance. Obviously, when the physics dictate that you can roll the car. It probably helps to be driving an SUV as well. Yeah, like, I'll show you our, uh, our Land Rover later on that we've pimped out. That thing has such a high center of gravity, especially if you play some of the multiplayer modes. You crash, that thing will tumble. Actually, right now, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I'm talking, I'm, I'm having the AI take over. Um, there is the one button auto brake driving that we can do, uh, which you just kind of hold down the gas, and, um, and you steer and follow the red line, the green line. 